This is the formation of a curry. First of all, we are on our north facing slope where it's colder. We get more snow and ice falling. This compacts down to form glacial ice or what's known as fern. When it becomes heavy enough, it then starts to slide downhill due to gravity and a little bit of lubrication from melted ice. During our ice age is when the glacier does most of the work. So this heavy layer of ice is now thick and sits on top of our hollow in our north facing slope. It pushes directly down and then forwards in a rotational movement. This rotational movement rips rocks out of the ground, known as plucking, and the rocks then sit in the glacier and move forward, known as abrasion. This deepens and steepens the hollow. Afterwards, once the glacier has eroded, it leaves a tarn or lochen, which is dammed in by a rock lip. Freeze thaw continues to happen in the back wall, making it steeper and causing scree to, a scree slope to form. This is how a curry is formed. So make sure that you add in all these parts to your diagram and fully explain the processes that are happening to gain full marks.